Hey there, good evening. It's 7.48 p.m. It is June 24th. It is Monday evening. I hope you guys had a good day at work. That's the bad situation. If it's a bad situation, you know, you can make the best of it. The best way you can. Anyway, I decided to make a video right now because I just made a video for my new channel and I wanted to make people aware of where my new channel was. So I'm putting a link in the description box when you get the chance to switch over and um, subscribe to the new channel. Today, I was pretty busy for the most part. I will say I'm very, very tired. I'm very sleepy. Um, I need to catch up on some sleep. A few days ago, I had some problems with my leg, my hip. You know, I was causing problems with my leg. And, you know, it just kind of slowed me down. So now I'm just very, very tired. And my, I would say, like, the last two days, I was very, very drained. You know, because I was putting out content, making content, I was dealing with a lot of stress and worry because, you know, I have to re-strategize, devil my efforts from all the night, the drama that was going on. And that could be exhausting, you know what I mean? And I, I know some people, you know, they were trying to jump in and claim to be my helpers, but the thing is, like, and I know I take a lot on by myself, okay? But I kind of have to, and this is a good example, you know, because not everybody, I feel, is trustworthy because, um, you know, I don't want to talk about the Libra, 9, the Libra 14 thing, but you don't understand what I'm saying. It's like, you know, I, I feel like I have to take care of everything that I do, mainly because I'm Thomas for a reason. Like, I learned my lessons in this life, and apparently I learned them in my last life, too. Um, I, this particular video that I made um, today, I was just kind of going over you know, and addressing some of the, the things that I wanted to say to some of the people that I used to know, people that I grew up in school with, um, people that I may have worked with, or, you know, people who may know me from a long time ago, based on this experiment, which I think is just absolutely horrifying, you know, when I think about it, and how long that, that whole thing lasted, it, it just, it's baffling to me, but, you know, this is what happens when you deal with corruption, so, um, what else do I want to say? Um, yeah, I do like focusing a lot on CB Berganza. I think um, I had mentioned before in my video that I do feel like this close attachment to him, seeing as how I see so many similarities between he and I. And, um, you know, I, I can see that he went through a lot of struggles. And apparently, you know, from my intuitive messages, I think the only person that really supported him was my father, you know. Um, and then, of course, when he took his own life, I think it must have, you know, uh, left an impression on my father and he wanted to make sure that you know he had a second chance you know like I said I think my dad uh, James Calvin Gordon was well-intentioned when he did what he did you know I think a lot of people for example if a person lost a child you know that's very precious to them especially if they had a close bond to that child and they had the opportunity to have that child cloned that would, that would come across their mind you know what I mean but then again, there's also the negative part to all of that. And this is what I dealt with. And this is what my dad dealt with. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it, it had a very sad ending for C.B. Braganza. And I would say my life has been a constant struggle dealing with um, uh, being a clone of this particular person that obviously dealt with a lot of bullying and then coming back and having to deal with, you know, bullying through this sick experiment, you know, which I, it just blows my mind. Um, brainwashing is a very powerful tool that people use. Um, yeah, so this, this little clip that I made a few days ago is just basically showing, you know, um, the connection between me and C.B. Braganza and, um, and I think that's what I, I like focusing on. You know, like I said, I have this really close connection. I feel towards him anyway. Um, I did get the message that um, today, for some reason, this particular person was in my mind. She was the girl over at Murray Family Farms that caused a lot of the problems. I do think that something terrible happened to her. And, you know, I, I honestly, I don't really have anything, really anything to say about it when it comes to people who were bullying me to the point of where they enjoyed it, the sick path, pathological um, bullying that took place. Um, I don't really, I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before in my life until I started working over there. And um, 
you know, I think she just had some sort of sick fascination with me. And then also, I think because she was working alongside, I think, Libra 14 or whatever, it kind of gave her a feeling of invincibility and she just went too far. You know what I mean? And I don't, I, I, I think also she had it had something to do with wanting to convert me to uh, Christianity mainly because I think Libra 14 wanted me to do that. The whole thing was very strange, and you know, um, I, I think what was so disturbing about it is the fact that you know I had made it very clear that I didn't want to be a part of any of those kind of schemes, and I had made it very clear that I, I did know who the girl Celina, that's her name. Uh, was in a few of my videos when I first realized I was a target. So she knew that I wasn't comfortable with her um, and who she was and or or being bullied by her. But yes, yeah, she continued to do it. So I understand that, you know, something happened to her. I don't really care. I'm, I'm disturbed by the entire thing. Like something like this could even happen. So, you know, I don't, it's not like, I don't feel anything. You know what I mean? And I don't really, going forward, I would prefer not to talk about that person or bring up any of these other people that I felt, you know, did what they did, you know, I, I don't even know what to say about that. So anyway, um, you know, I had mentioned before that, you know, um, our country kind of runs on itself, you know, there's a lot of um, people who do things that are unethical. This is one of the reasons why this girl was able to do the things that she did is because, um, you know, number one, she, she was doing this sort of stuff alongside a celebrity. And so, um, you know, I had made my my um, opinions clear about how I feel um, about, you know, celebrities or anybody, you know, participating or orchestrating like a human trafficking or sex trafficking ring. I think a lot of people are fooled by the fact that, you know, a person's famous and therefore that makes them trustworthy. Just because a person has talent doesn't mean they're trustworthy or, you know, they don't have some sort of trick up their sleeve. You know, sometimes people use their image and their their uh, status or what people, the, the idea of being an important person conjured, get conjured up in people's minds and they start like bending back over backwards to accommodate people in a crime. And that's exactly what people ended up doing. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. The other message I got is that um, I know a lot of people sometimes look at me and think, well, you know, she's really independent. And there's some people who, um, who were a part of this network along with Lever 14 and the girl from um, Murray Family Farms who claimed to be helpers and they were a part of this. I think it was because of the whole celebrity connection and me making the um, association with um, or calling them um, or comparing it as like circus type mentality, like where everybody's in this big group and everyone say one, say all and you know, everything that's mine, they thought that they could help themselves to. And this is, I, this mentality obviously is illegal. And this is like, I started realizing that these people were doing things that were shocking to me. I felt like I was being kidnapped. Like, you know, I'm sitting here trying to break away from the nine to five and I'm going to one other, you know, starting to do, try to do things online or, or take care of myself by doing something. I, but they were insisting on me being a part of their network. That was terrifying to me. Being human tra me tra a victim of human trafficking is a very terrifying experience, you know. But anyway, um, so, you know, I mean, when it comes to helpers, I, I do realize, you know, like I said, I'm a one-woman show. And, you know, I, I, I know that there's certain things that maybe I could do a little bit better. But this whole thing, this one time manifesto is about me being who I am and picking up where I left off and you know and I, I accept it for the, what it is it is what it is meaning like you know um I've always been on the run meaning you know I've always been like interrupted in the things that I do my activities if I was starting school then these people were going to bully me and do all this stuff I start a new job they're sitting here bullying me here and there so it's it literally is about me coming to realize okay I was a target. These people plowed through a lot of shit in my life. Okay. They mentally abused me, financially abused me. I mean, I went through it all. My father went through it all. Okay. I've been bullied since I was six years old. Okay. So now I'm picking up the pieces based on this person, CB Braganza, who had a successful occult business back in the 
century, right? He dies by suicide. He gets re he gets cloned. I come back as Maria Gordon, only to experience some weird Nazi experiment. Okay, and then once I found out everything, now I'm picking my, myself up, okay? And if that means me picking things up in a very simplistic way until I can find the right helpers, then that's what it is. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people would understand the fact that this is, they put me in a very awkward situation. I was basically running for my life, like, for the longest time. So, you know, um, as, as hopefully as things go on, things will get better, and I will be able to, you know, get people to help me as far as, like, you know, some of the pamphlets that I made, I would like to have those a little bit more fine-tuned, and, and things will work out as I go along. You know what I mean? But I want to be the one. I think this girl, Selena Bruce, was jumping in and helping herself to things that she had no right to do. You know what I mean? And see, this is why I feel violated. Because like when you have your own business or whatever, you know, you have your confidentiality. You have your own plans, your own goals, your own visions of how things are supposed to go. And this girl was sitting here trying to make rules along with, you know, Libra 14. I resented the whole thing. I was terrified by the whole thing, and I certainly did not consent to it. So it was it was terrifying for me. Also, um, what other message did I get? Okay, I know that there's a lot of people from my past who watch my videos, and I do think that it's important for me to say, you know, um, um, that, you know, how I feel about it. You know, and I do appreciate it if you want to support me. Um, and the link to my new channel is going to be in the description box. I would appreciate it if you did um, subscribe to my channel and then check out my, um, what do you call it? My Swan Song Manifesto, you know, um, I would appreciate that. My thing is, is like, you know, it, it's difficult for me to feel comfortable, um, you know, meeting people face to face and, and resuming a contact after all of this. It's been a lot on me, okay? And I do know that a lot of this was based on like a pressure to be a Christian, to convert to a religion. I think people were um, doing this based on a half truth, meaning like, you know, they thought that I was evil. They thought that they were basing it on the propaganda that was told to them um, when I was younger. And I, and I mentioned this before that there was no way in the world I could have defended that. Like I could have never, I had no idea people were saying those things about me. Uh, trying to make it seem like I was evil uh, back then. But obviously, when you look back on it, everybody knew when I was younger, a teenage girl, that I was interested in converting to a Jehovah's Witness, which is a Bible-based religion. Um, and so I think a lot of people were brainwashed, and everybody can vouch for the fact that I, I made an effort to do that. Okay, so what this was was a, a, a systematic takedown of a person for fun. Okay, literally sick, literally, I mean, it's sick, okay? So, you know, seeing certain people again is going to cause triggers, okay? And that it makes sense, okay? And I understand how you got swept up into it, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Obviously, if I was to see certain people again, it's going to cause me to have, you know, serious, serious problems. But no, um, I, it's unfortunate that, that people were putting that sort of religious pressure on me uh, especially based on what they knew. I, I am not in any way somebody who is against people practicing Christianity or any religion for that matter. You know what I mean? It's like literally this whole Nazi experiment was exactly it. It was a form of mind control and it was something that was meant to implode in on itself. Meaning they would deceive people, tell people lies, and create deception even within my own family unit. Okay, because the whole purpose was was to destroy me, and this is one of the reasons why I talk about targeted individuals. Okay, because a lot of targeted individuals are dealing with the same thing. They might be experiments themselves. Some of them are just like you know, some of it has something to do with bloodline targeting, or you know, certain groups of people might be just against you because of something that happened generations ago that you have no fucking idea of. Seriously, because like I, I literally had no idea. I, I had no idea who. Who Prince Alame, who was, I had no, none of that, okay, so when it comes to target individuals, a lot of these people, they are, they, I know they're wondering, like, what did I do, I didn't do anything wrong, you sit there and you, like, go back through all your steps, you try to figure out, what did I do, I didn't do anything, I mean, everybody does something, okay, but obviously nothing warrants this, okay, nothing warrants 
years and years and years and years and years and years of being wound down and everything that you do gets squashed on. So it's got to be something deep, deeper than that. Okay. And so when I realized it would target an individual, of course, I didn't think that it was bloodline targeting, but this is what it was. It is bloodline targeting. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I'm, I'm not somebody who's interested in playing those games. Um, what else? Okay. So, yeah, when it comes to the people that I used to know, you know, it, it just makes sense. You know, it's like, you know, this is a very trauma inducing situation you know what I mean and what makes it even more trauma inducing is the fact that when I had my Pandora not Pandora sorry <gasps> Patreon okay that some of these people would get involved with it knowing the sort of psychological effect that that would have on me like you thinking that they could touch something like that that's disturbing to me it's like it's too grabby it was inappropriate and I and I I question the mentality of not celebrities as a whole, okay? But why in the world would somebody think that this is okay? You know what I mean? Because this is human trafficking, okay? It, I am not a part of a circus where like my, what is mine is yours or yours is mine. You know what I mean? And I, I, I really have a very hard time wrapping my brain around stuff like that. You know what I mean? And so I believe the girl Selena Bruce, along with Libra 14, were trying to orchestrate something. And mind you, the, uh, Selena Bruce was never my friend. Okay, I knew she was causing problems for me over at Murray Family Farms Place. So what she was doing was, it was just outright evil harassment along with the girl over at um, uh, BG Trucking. These people all got together because this was a racial issue. They wanted to prove a point. And I had no interest in proving a point. I, I don't care. I literally don't care, you know what I mean? I didn't care about being a part of a racial, you know, let me prove that I'm better than this person, let me be in a comp, none of that mattered to me. To me, it's like, I thought this was like the most offensive, stupid um, thing that I've ever, this, this sickness, the mental sickness of the people who wanted to like shove this shit down my throat. I honestly don't care. And the girl, Selena Bruce, who was involved in this, um, I'm going to say that the people who encouraged her to do this were really the ones who were responsible for putting her in that position in the first place. Okay. They created a monster. What else did I want to say? Um, no, I mean, um, I resented people trying to convert me into a different religion. Um, anyway, you know what I mean? Because if it, this is not a moral issue, I think I live very, uh, I have very high standards. Okay. And I have the right to have my beliefs and I felt like people were trying to make it so where I needed to uh, be, I needed to bow down in order to have some people accept me as their friend. You know what I mean? When the reality of it is, if this is a sort of requirement that you would place on a person, you could never, pro you could never possibly be their friend in the first place. See, the thing is, is that, you know, I need to be around and I've only needed to be around people that accepted me for who I was. Okay. And you know, I, I can't deal with people who always want to nitpick this, nitpick that, whatever. No, I will never accept that religion. This is not the religion I want to be a part of. Okay. I'm an occultist. Okay. And that's, that's, that's that. I think maybe they were interested in converting me to a particular religion because they wanted me to be under control. And see, I think Libra 14, if he used religion as an excuse, he can say, oh, well, this is, this is divine or this is godly or whatever. See, this is where, why religion is not supposed to mix up with politics and all this other stuff because it can become downright life-threatening and this is exactly what ended up happening. Okay, Libra 14 was in no way a righteous person to ever, ever even make that statement. Okay, and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm so righteous either, but see, I've never sat here and crammed my shit down people's throat. Like, I've never tried to prevent people from living or trying to bully people into doing any of this sort of stuff. Okay, so, I mean, I made my point, and I don't want to talk about it anymore, but these are the messages that I'm getting. And it's not that I'm not a person who wants to, doesn't want to socialize, it's just I didn't want to be a part of that group. Okay, I never liked the girl over at Murray Family Farms, so but she insisted on being a part of my network. And I didn't want her to be. I didn't want her to be a part of my network, okay? And I, it just, it bothered me, okay? I, I didn't like that network. Uh, what else do I want to say um, before I wrap this up? 
<laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, I do, I do want a social life. You know what I mean? But I, I want to be very careful about the people that I bring into my life, and I think that's understandable. You know what I mean? And I, all I've ever dealt with was people who were blinded by some sort of Nazi propaganda. So every time I met people, it was always people who wanted, you know, to either be an informant, to either twist and manipulate a situation or something along those lines, okay? And really, I deserve better. You know what I mean? I, it just makes sense. So, um, but I'm not saying that, you know, people from my past are not, can't be repentant. I'm just saying is, my thing is, is like, would you, you need to understand why I feel the way that I do. Like, as far as like face-to-face -face type, you know, meetings and stuff like that, that would just be too, too awkward for me. So, you know, if you want to support me, I appreciate it. But like I said, I mean, I don't really plan on meeting anybody that I used to know from my past. That's something that needs to stay where exactly where it was. It needs to stay in my past. Um, I do get the feeling that there's a lot of people who feel bad about mistreating me. Um, and, um, and I do, I get it, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I think there's a lot of people who were uh, very discontented in their life. And I know that, the thing is, I understand that, um, like for example, in the context of a work environment, people normalize bullying, they do. They normalize it, like you know, um, if a person, if a person, like I don't know, if they let's say for example, a girl uh, comes in and she's she looks decent, okay, she's a she's well dressed or whatever, you know, they, they get that mischievous look on their face and they start looking and talking to, amongst each other, and they they their first thing that they want to do is they want to bully that person. It's like you know, um, that's not what you're supposed to do, and everybody knows that. As an adult, they should know that. You know what I mean? But they do it. You know what I mean? And I've been getting bullied because of this program for a very, very long time. And I don't, I honestly and truthfully, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying it's like, okay, I honestly don't see how anybody can be excused from participating in this experiment. I, I don't see how anybody could, see, I could be like, oh, okay, I totally understand why you did it. I, I to me, the motivation behind it, regardless of who said it or whatever, to me, it's just evil. But anyway, um, I think that's really it. Uh, that's all I want to say. I, the main reason why I make this video tonight is because I wanted to let people know about my new channel. And, you know, I'm picking up from where I left off, um, trying to get my life back in order. I'm way behind in schedule, you know, and I'm trying to get things where I need it to be. I'm very um, tired, <laughs> so you have to excuse this video. But um, I don't, you know, I will be posting on this video. I meant to do a celebrity reading today, but I'm very tired. And I felt like, you know, I didn't really want to like go into my closet and pull all the papers and little bags and everything and start pulling paper. I'm very tired tonight. But I wanted to be folk, let people know where my new channel is. And um, I did want people to know about the Swan Song Manifesto. And I would really appreciate your support. I mean, it's been a nightmare, which I'm sure a lot of people have known this. And uh, people who followed this story um, have seen, you know, just the kind of not nightmare stuff that I had to go through. And I would have never, ever agreed to that in a million years. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. And if you make sure you click in... Um, the description box and check out my new channel. I do have a new video up there on that on that channel, and um, I will be back with another video sometime later. Take care. Have a good night.